What's up out there? I'm assuming the majority of you are from the Philippines. Did I even pronounce that right? The majority of you are from the Philippines. Um, some context, the World Cup is going on and I don't watch a lot of soccer, but I think this is a good time to get my cardio in. So I've been watching the World Cup on a treadmill. Today I was watching uh, France versus Australia. The, the reason that's important is because I'm like being way more active than I would normally be. And then I'm still drinking. So I'm probably, you know, a little more, whatever. You get it or you don't. Anyways, A Night of Wonder with Disney Plus. I'm nervous. I mean, I'm not, I'm not nervous. I'm nervous for the performers. Filipino performers are amazing. I don't say that lightly. Like, uh, oh, not to like think of everyone. Like Morissette, uh, Daryl Long, Michael Penga, Easy Mill. A lot of fantastic vocalists from the Philippines. I'm not nervous for their ability. I'm just nervous on whether or not like this type of performance is going to speak to me. And you might ask, why am I watching it? I'm watching it because you watch it. I know you've been watching it. I got people in your house. They told me you're watching it. So let's go. I like her. Who is that? I just assumed I would know them. Who's that? Oh. Well, hold on. Definitely the orchestration's amazing. I should have expected that with Disney. The actual performance of the instruments, orchestration, fantastic. And the, the voice, I don't know uh, this person singing, but it's also really, it's like subtle. I don't know if subtle is the right word. It's like, whatever, let's keep watching. Okay, her voice is beautiful, and then something I will say is like not a singer, but kind of a singer, like I kind of sang, but I'm not really good at it, is the actual melodic contour, melodic contour, which is like when you take the notes and you put them on a sheet of paper, like how do they map out? I think the melody is a little difficult, and she is, she sounds very relaxed with something that is probably difficult. Actually, hold on. I can t I can talk about that at least that part where she went like long note up, long note up, long note up. That is that takes just pure power. Usually, there's a contour where like uh, I'm probably using contour too much, but usually you'll have like a note that goes up and the one that comes down, and then you launch off of the note that comes down. But she went up, 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 which is just more power, more power, more power. Let's hear it again. Whoa. Whoa. I don't I don't think I know her. I'm trying to like thank my memory banks like back and try to figure out. It doesn't matter. She's incredible. 
Now, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to be dead horse. I just think it's, she's doing a really excellent job at melodies that I don't think are easy to sing. They they sound simple, so the audience always wants to sing along with them because they sound simple. But if you're in the audience singing along, you can really hear how like you don't match the the pitches of the singer. Wow. The vibrato on the end of that line. Whoa. Okay. All right. I didn't know what I'm, I'm watching, but how quickly it cut to someone else. This must be a mismatch, uh, like a, a compilation of Disney songs, properties. I will say, all right, let's also say this, that like the, the first woman presenting um, or, or performing, she did an excellent job, but she also looked fantastic. I try to not talk very much about the aesthetic of someone because I think it's low hanging fruit. You know, you told me it's like, oh, someone's ugly or someone's pretty or someone's fashionable or whatever. Uh, but I think in this context, it does merit some, some talk about it. That like, because now I'm seeing back-to-back -back performers who look stunning, and that are probably going to do a great job. And so when you're when you're talking about people who are going to do a great job singing or performing, now the aesthetic just becomes one extra level of greatness. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm sure I'll tag it later. Dude, this is so good. I did. Is this, are these all Filipino singers? Also, like recently, like people have been putting in the comments Pinoy, and I don't know, like, if I'm allowed to say Pinoy. Like, is that okay? Like, can I say that, or is that like not a cool way to talk about people? Anyways, singers, man, the singers in the music. Key change. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get to the Lion King, I mean, I was trying to like put some thinking into what I was saying. Um, <clears throat> as as someone who has felt, you know, less than, very self conscious, I love music because when you're doing music, you get to focus on the music and not who you are as a person or who I am as a person. So like, I typically don't talk about what people look like unless it's specifically a fashion thing because I wanna focus on the music. But it's like in these really rare moments where there's a majestic performance from the singer, 
that just uplifts the actual performance they're doing that's animated i mean how can you not talk about it taco cat backwards is taco cat stay focused Okay, I was waiting for him. He got up there in that upper range and really delivered. And his uh, his suit is pretty interesting. I like that diamond. Is it diamond encrusted? Doesn't matter. But the shiny belt matches his delivery. But I had to wait for him to get up there in the top top range where he's like belting. I feel like I've seen him somewhere. He got on them thick heels, son. I'd wear that. I would, hey, I'm proud that you wore it. I, I would wear it. I don't know what that was. Was, this, was that a key change like up? Like up a whole step? I'm assuming. Trio. That was so much better than anything I could have expected. Uh, well, you were here at the beginning of the video. I thought, you know, you know what it reminds me of is that there's a lot of things that I'm not keeping up with and I need to go and actually like, I've not seen all these movies. I've seen clips, you know, I grew up on Disney. I think that's what Disney does is that everyone grows up on Disney, but you grow up in a certain time period, certain movies are, it's the movies you, you, you watch when maybe, I don't know, when you're like six years old to 14 years old. And, and that window keeps moving for every successive generation. And I think I've made a mistake by not going and digging into it. 
I go and watch all the superhero movies, but I used to love all of the, uh, you know, just animated stuff. I never stopped loving it. I just stopped seeking it out. So, hey, I learned something. I learned something about myself. Self, go watch these movies and don't watch them once. Don't watch them twice. Watch them the way you watched them back in the day and, and actually just like enjoy yourself. That's incredible. An incredible vocal performance and then also the animation going with it. Just, it'll get more clicks if I'm hateful. But I can't hate on that. I thought it was absolutely just excellent. 